as a kid, I really loved cars, among other things. And um, not being able to drive them, I think my avenue for experience was I tried to draw them. So I looked at these um, at Big Daddy Roth cartoon cars or t-shirt art, mostly the art that he did for the t-shirts. And um, I would get a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, whatever I could find, and started drawing them, trying to understand what it takes to draw a wheel, how do you draw shiny paint, how do you represent glass, how do you represent chrome, all that. All the while, I'm, um, without knowing it, um, I I'm learning how to uh, draw cars and then understanding the mechanics, the proportions, the, the way light hits them, all that goes into, uh, you know, little did I know at the time, um, car design. What I was finding is, you, when you think about it, a model kit does so many things. First, it's the packaging. You get, you're attracted to this drawing or photograph of the model. You, you study the box and they show you pictures and they're used, they're, it's usually artwork, so you're trying to understand that. Intrinsically, I was drawn to artwork. And you start understanding all the components that go into these cars, because even back in the mid-60s, the cars were incredibly accurate. You know, because they got, they got the information from the automakers, directly from the companies. In fact, I've told people uh, several years back, and the says, you know, I'm really not a designer, I'm a modeler. Because the design just gets me to that 3D expression. And what did I do when I was a kid? I built models, you know. When I look back through my career after having gone through design school and you know being hired by hired by General Motors and spending you know 38 plus years there, um, interpreting and understanding, really very similar in that you were creating these products and and what I was like. My goal is always to create a unique personality in vehicles, if you will, kind of individuals, like a, like a machine individual. So they have character, they have personality, style, flair, recognizability, and they can relate to people or the customer. You know, I think that, that I found that to be really important. Uh, after about three years at hiring General Motors, I did a scale model, and at the time, the chief designer for Chevy 3 Studio, which was the Corvette studio, I think during the 60s through the 90s. And so Jerry Palmer at the time had seen my model at Hollywood Vine, which I did in the advanced area as a new kid. So because of that model and the artwork associated with it, he invited me to join their team. And the first thing, one of the first things I got to work on was the Corvette Indy concept car, mid-engine concept car. I also found that to be successful and that what makes cars popular and people want to have them. And as we all know with, um, for, for, for instance, uh, Corvette customers, it's more than just a mode of transportation. It, it actually affects their lifestyle. In fact, people evolve their lifestyles around this automotive culture. 